Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay, okay we have a Three of Pentacles reversed. Messages for Scorpio please. We have the Four reversed Aries, Aquarius energy there. Um, we have the Eight of Swords reversed and the Hermit in reverse, Virgo. King of Wands. Uh, two of Wands reversed. Justice. Hanged Man in reverse. Wow. Oh, look. The Empress on the back. Okay. So this could be how you are feeling. Um, if you're not there quite yet, this is the energy that you're coming into. I'm also, what is this I can see in the background? Is this the Emperor? Yes. Okay. So some of you could have a divine uh, partnership here. You could be making your way towards your divine counterpart. They could be making their way towards you. Yeah, look, we have the eight of um, ones behind. You could be hearing from them or reaching out to them. <clears throat> this is interesting because on the one hand, you know, you showed up right at the start with the death card. That's your card. Um, very powerful. We have the Empress. We have this King of Wands, which I'm also intuitive, intuitively reading as your energy. So you're, you're, you know, very in your power. Um, you're in a good place. But something's upsetting you. Something's bothering you. You're ready to move on from something. You're ready to begin a journey in a direction. Um, I kind of feel you're giving, giving good face. Is that an expression? I don't know. <laughs> I think you're wearing a really good mask. Everyone who looks at you would be like, wow, Scorpio, you know, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Empress, Emperor, in their element. And that is actually true. But what they're not seeing is that there's something you're feeling is um, unfair, unjust. You're unhappy about something. You're ready to make a big change. And there's frustration. There's even a bit of sadness that I'm picking up on. So let's see what is going on here. Now, remember how I was saying that message about work? Someone is always looking at you, a bit jealous, wanting to be you, trying to be like you. I feel something's going on possibly for some of you with work where you've had to put your foot down or you're taking charge of something and there's maybe been a falling out or you just feel that there's some tension. Um, let's see. Page of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands. It's almost like something was going on and you were like, okay, you know, I'm going to let this slide for now. I know this person's dealing with their own stuff, they're insecure, whatever. And, you know, they're being a bit silly, but fine, you know, do your silly thing, it's cute, it's it's something I can, can ignore, whatever. But then you had to put your foot down, made things difficult and awkward. What I would say is don't worry because this person looks like they're going to actually want to um, fix the situation or to go back to having more of like a harmonious uh, work situation here with you. Um, I don't, I don't know who this person is. I, I think it's the same person. I think this is the person who, who wants to be you. They're very insecure. They're coming up as a page. You're coming up as a king. Um, I just, I don't know if this person is equipped to deal with the, the world, you know, and emotions that are part of the world and, and adult situations and struggles. It's like they've got a lot of internal work to do. And um, I think you know this, but I think you've, you've become tired of it. Maybe that's why you were being patient with them, because you understand they're trying their best. Um, they've got a lot of growing or healing to do, but it's like enough. This is work. I'm not your parent. You know, that sort of thing. So there could be some tension there, but I kind of almost feel like for some of you with work, you're ready to make a change. You're ready to go in a whole new direction. If it's not work, yeah, if it's family, you have the four of wands, you might be thinking, <clears throat> I'm, I'm looked to in some way as like almost the head of this household, whether you are a woman or a man watching this, doesn't matter, you know, but this king of wands energy, they're, they're a leader. But three of pentacles in reverse, we're not all getting on. And I, I kind of just want to leave. I, you know, <clears throat> I can still provide or take care of whatever responsibilities I have, but I don't know if I can stay in this actual dynamic. Um, we have the moon in reverse, Pisces there. Look, wow, the emperor. And we have the ace of cups with the tower in reverse. I just think you have something somewhere else, a work opportunity, a person that you're in love with. Wanting, it's like you just want to go. Maybe, maybe it's all of it. Maybe you want to leave your job. Maybe you want to relocate. Maybe you want to leave one dynamic situation, relationship for another. <clears throat> but you're, you're keeping all of this within. And it's, it's like, um, like it's uh, swirling around inside and no one would know. Okay, but let's see. What else, please? What else for Scorpio? <clears throat> I 
Yeah, ten of wands reversed. You're absolutely ready to let something go. You're ready to travel, to to speak to someone, to hear from someone. What's this? Mind of pentacles reversed. You feel that things are stuck for you where you are. Um, oh man, I really feel for you. It's I feel the frustration here. I think we should get some guidance and advice, definitely. But let's carry on with this for now. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else, please, for Scorpio? Look at this. You can't make this up. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're tired of thinking about this, of feeling stuck. You just want to move and you feel like it would be fair. It would be right. It would be balanced. It would be just to move forward, um, to leave something behind, to close something out. Okay, let's see. The Hermit with the Hanged Man. King of Swords reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness, now we have the Lovers. Gemini there. But you want to speak a truth about something again flip it if you need to this is something maybe you're waiting to hear someone else speak you're waiting to hear someone else's truth but there is something for you 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 feel something elsewhere it's not where you are it's for you it's there's definitely like a love partnership here that's for sure you know we have the emperor the empress we have the lovers now and look at this three of wands you're thinking about this person underneath four of wands you could be thinking about union with them living with them we have the page of swords maybe you're keeping an eye on them maybe they're keeping an eye on you here but you're ready you're ready to just go you're tired of this you're tired of holding this in you might find that you have a, a short temper with people like this person over here possibly at work normally you can forgive their nonsense but you've got no time for it now um <clears throat> It's, it's crazy it's well, maybe it's not maybe it makes sense if you're coming up as the empress you're very abundant and you have everything you need maybe that's the frustration because you actually are able to go you're ready to go you have the resources perhaps yeah perhaps that's it the things you've been working for you now have so now it's go time and you're you're, you're like okay i want to make this happen let's get you some guidance and advice because there's too much that you're dealing with internally with no expression here nowhere for it to go and i think everyone's looking at you to provide to lead to guide at work at home and um you feel like you're getting nothing in return there's no partnership here everything is just you doing this by yourself okay and i also feel um <clears throat> you, it's like you have the feeling that as long as these people around you, as long as you keep showing up in the same role for these people, doing the same things, they're never going to stop you and say, are you okay? You seem tired. Are you okay? You seem upset. You know, they're never going to be there to actually check in with you and see how you are. They're just going to allow things to continue. So you're realizing, okay, well, I can't do the same because, you know, something's got to change here. Okay, so guidance and advice, please, for Scorpio. Spirit, what do you want to do with guidance and advice for Scorpio? But one thing I want to say is if you're wondering, if I make this transition, if I leave um, work, home, relationship, all three, you know, whatever is going on for you, and I go towards the person I'm thinking about, the situation I'm thinking about, if you're wondering, is that person's situation still there for me? The answer is yes, because we keep having these, um, you know, counterparts and we have the, the lovers here, which usually shows that the, the thoughts, feelings, hopes, intentions are mirrored. However, I don't think you wonder that. I don't think you need that confirmation. I think you're pretty sure. Okay, judgment, temperance, Sagittarius there, eight of cups reversed, king of swords reversed. Okay, first thing I'm seeing, look at this. You're right, you have everything you need. It's time to make that decision. And it's a big decision. It's terrifying, possibly. Um, but you're the empress no man woman doesn't matter you have everything that you need to do this temperance it is going to be okay even if there's some some struggle turbulence in the meantime there's going to be healing and you know temperance is a card of it's kind of gentle it's peaceful it takes its time even if you make this decision now and you're like done i've made the decision how you choose to express this decision to people concerned or how you decide to take action based on this decision doesn't have to be at the speed of light you know you can do it in a, in a sort of gentle calm way but i feel once you've made the decision for yourself internally you're just going to feel so much more peaceful okay now the thing you're heading towards eight of cups reversed you might it might be something you walked away from at one time or this person um, walked away from you or maybe if it's a situation you kind of let it pass you by and you may have been thinking with these 
glasses that are smashed. This can never come back around. If it's an opportunity, well, I've just missed it. I let it go by. If it's, you know, if it's work or something, someone else has got that position, I'll never find anything as good. If it's a partner, well, they left, they're never coming back, or I walked away, they'll never forgive me. I think actually, you'll be surprised. But I do think what happens is someone does need to speak their truth, whether it's your person, if it's, you know, a romantic thing, or just another person, or if it's use, there, there needs to be something spoken here. Um, so if you are thinking of reaching out to someone, I would say go for it. If you're wanting them to reach out to you, it might be time to give them a nudge rather than just waiting for them um, so that you can get things moving or at least find out, you know, that they're not going to respond or that the situation is a no go. And, and then you can still just move on and then put this behind you. But the thing is, I'm seeing a situation, whatever the situation, romantic or platonic, the intention feelings are reciprocated. Um, yeah, look at this. Six of Wands reversed. Making a decision to step away from everything that's draining you, that doesn't align with you, things that don't feel successful. And if, if you have anything you're holding on to because of how it seems or appearances, or you feel other people concerned or involved are concerned about appearances and you want to make them happy, I think you just can't do it anymore. Look, we have the King of Cups on the back. You've got to prioritize yourself. Three of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, some people aren't going to like the decision that you make, but it will be okay with temperance. Seven of Wands reversed. Yes, there is someone you're thinking about. And can you even see how this bird is reaching out? A wing. There's someone you want to reach out to. Um, something's happened here. One of you walked away, I think. Um, and it felt like that's it. The situation is done, over, it's dead. It's never coming back. Um, I think you'd be surprised. This person, if they blocked you, I think you're probably unblocked. If you think they blocked you, I don't think they did. If you block them, Spirit's definitely saying it's time to unblock them. Um, it could just be, you know, with this, they you felt that there was a distance. They were keeping you out of um, their heart space. I think they, you, you know, you're going to find them to be more open with you now. <clears throat> and look at this. Okay, we have the Empress in reverse and we have the world. So it's time to stop thinking that, you know... You need to have more, you need to work harder, you need to be more ready. I don't think you see that you are the Empress in the upright. <clears throat> and look, we've judgment the world. I think Spirit's saying it's time. You're, you're ready to go. It's time to move on. It's time to close something out. It's time to make a big change. Um, and again, this does feel huge. It feels life-changing, you know? So remember, you can make the decision now but you can unroll this change slowly, as slowly as you need to. Um, okay. Let me see. Yeah, I'm just looking at how else I can interpret this, because the other way is that someone, you've been waiting to hear from them, they are being quiet. And all I can see here, and, and you know, suggest based on the cards is that if you do want to talk to them, even if you're saying, no, they need to reach out to me, maybe they do. But the thing is, if it's bothering you enough that you keep thinking about it, it might just be best for you to just reach out to them anyway and to say, I haven't heard from you, you know, and then say whatever you need to say or ask whatever you need to ask. And, um, you know, just, just sort of be proactive, you know, and get whatever closure or, um, information you're needing for yourself so you're doing this for you you're not you're not sort of reaching out um to them to make them more comfortable or to facilitate something for them it's all about you here and the reason i'm saying that is this doesn't just feel like you know like a casual flirtation where you're like oh i keep making the effort they never initiate it doesn't feel like that this feels huge it feels profound you've got a history with this person you're considering making a huge life change that involves them so there's no there's no room for messing around for being um silly so you need to know from this person are you on board or not you know you've not got time for any any nonsense any f uh, wishy-washy flaky energy you kind of just need to know where you stand um, let's see, how are they going to respond? What, do you, what sort of um, response are you going to get from them? What can you expect? What can Scorpio expect from this person, please, if Scorpio reaches out to them? Or if they do reach out to Scorpio before? 
Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, we have the Hanged Man. So Pisces, they've been thinking about you. They've been thinking about this. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. We have the Four of Cups. You see? So they feel like there was a missed opportunity here between you as well. Ten of Cups reversed. If you were even together, they feel like they want that back. They see happiness, joy with you. Ten of Cups here. Uh, Four of Cups. They're bored. They're dissatisfied with their life, actually, as it is. You may not know that. And they're looking at that special ace of cups that gift they want this person wants renewal with you they've been thinking about you too so if they reach out to you i think you're going to be like wow okay um they're being very clear they're being very open they're letting me know where i stand if you reach out to them i think you're, you know you're still going to think okay this is great you know they they are open we're communicating we're getting straight to the point but whatever whatever this is you know, and, and the same in terms of if it's work, if you're reaching out to a contact or something, you're going to be surprised that they're really happy to hear from you. So whatever it is, your advice is it's time to go. It's time to make the change. Um, however quickly or slowly you want and need to make it. OK, so I'm going to leave this here, Scorpio. I hope this helps and I am sending you. I'm wishing you luck with this transition. Um, just take your time and. Um, yeah, I, I just think as soon as you've told yourself, I know what I'm doing and I am going to do it, you're just going to feel so much more peaceful. And that's really a huge starting point. Okay, so take care and hopefully see you soon. Bye.